it's Sam here from NZ Mortgages. Today on Ask the Experts, we have Zena from NZ Insurances. Zena, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, yeah, so I'm Tadina Wano. I am an insurance advisor at NZ Insurances. So we're just in the office next to NZ Mortgages. Um, what I do is I offer protection for people's future plans or um, goals, I guess. Mm -hmm. And we advise in education and product planning or protection planning for the future. Fantastic. And is this all like obligation free? There's no fees to come in and have a chat with you? Yeah, no, absolutely. So the services I provide are completely free for the customers. Um, and the way I'm remunerated is from the providers we choose to go through. Okay. But if it's just the education session, no, it's purely free. Cool. Services so free. That sounds great. Can you tell us some common misconceptions that people may have when it comes to insurance? Yeah, absolutely. So I think the biggest one is if you've got a pre-existing condition, you can't change providers. Um, I think it's always good for us to be aware of any pre-existing conditions because mm -hmm. what we'll do is we'll put a plan in place and assess what provider may be best for you, whether it's staying with your current provider or whether the benefits may actually suit you better going to another one. Okay, what about taking out cover if someone doesn't have cover already and there's pre-existing yeah. conditions, is that still an option? Absolutely, it's definitely still an option. I think it's really important to be aware that there may be exclusions, mm -hmm. which may mean that that pre-existing condition may not be ex included into the cover, or there may be loadings, which mean that it may be more expensive for them to include that condition. Okay. But it doesn't also pre prevent you from having the cover in place. Okay, cool. So yeah. ultimately the best thing is to come and chat to someone such as yourself. Absolutely. To look at the options. Yeah, for sure. It's always best to get expert advice. Yeah. Um, and if we don't know in regards to what that's going to result in, we can talk to the providers and see who's best to suit you cool. for that product. Why do you think that people don't see value when it comes to life, trauma, income protection insurance? Yeah. I think it's a lack of understanding of the product and a lack of knowledge around it as well. People don't, if they don't have understanding or knowledge, you don't actually see, or you can't see the value in regards to how it's going to help you. Yeah. And if you haven't had also had the experience in regards to using insurance, you're not going to see the value or how it's going to impact your life as well. Yeah. So I think that's what we're here for. You know, we really, um, we want you to ask questions. We want you to understand what you're taking out mm -hmm. so you can see value in it. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Sounds really good. So another misconception is that you need to be of a age before mm -hmm. you look at this type of insurance <laughs> yeah. or protection. Yeah, absolutely. Get that all the time. Um, and uh, it just couldn't be further from the truth. You know, there's no age to illness. There's no age to a serious accident or serious illness like that. And having the protection in place can start from the day you're born. You know, there is no age to when you need to take it out. Um, and it's just important to have it at any time because you just have no idea when something can happen. Always be prepared. Absolutely. Would you even suggest that a single person buying their first home or second home come and chat with you? Absolutely, 100%. I think that that's probably even more of a time that someone needs to come and have a chat with us. Um, you're independent, you can only rely on your income. And if you've got something like a mortgage repayment, what happens if your income stops? Yeah. It's a time in your life where protection in place and having that protection in place is so important. So when it comes to claiming on insurance, mm -hmm. would having a will in place make things easier? Yes, it does. Having a will in place, if you then passed away, you know exactly where your funds are going because you had that designated there. Um, if there is no will in place, we can we can look at options of the ownership of the policy, who is going to be receiving those funds of the owner, um, or nominated beneficiaries. So if there is no will in place or the ownership isn't going to someone else, then we can actually put a nominated beneficiary in place where you can nominate those funds to go to a certain person. Can you give us a brief overview on what products that you can discuss with people. Yeah, absolutely. So it's mainly personal risk. So this could be life, so if you would pass away, trauma, if you were to have a serious illness, um, if there could be income protection, which could be a certain, um, you weren't able to work or receive an income for a certain amount of time, or also medical cover. So being able to fund or be able to get through that pub or private system quickly and efficiently to be able to prioritise your health. We also offer total permanent disablement, also known as TPD. What that is, is if you're never able to return to your occupation again, or any occupation again, okay. we're able to give you a lump sum amount of money to be able to get through that time. Um, for example, that could be paying off mortgage, debts, 
or having fun to be able to last a long time. Okay. Thank you for joining us today. As always, you can contact us on nzmortgages.co.nz if you have any questions. Today now, how can someone reach out to you? Yeah, you can visit our website, nzinsurances.co.nz, where you'll find all of our details. Cool. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us.